Some people may wonder, what is a disability? The ADA defines a person with a disability as someone who has a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities. This includes people who have a record of such an impairment even if they do not currently have a disability. It also includes individuals who do not have a disability but are regarded as having a disability. The ADA, ADA also makes it unlawful to discriminate against a person based on that person's association with a person with a disability. Чилдэ хүн иргэнийхээ хувьд ямар эрх хэдтэй юм бэ? Энэ эрх гэдэг юм чөнгөө үедийн бэ гэдгийг энэ цай мэд чавлаа. За хол зэрлэг нь бол бид бас Монгол усад хөвсөн бэршилтэд иргэдийн хууль эрх зүйн орчин бол сонгон олгож ирлээр одоо хөвсөн бэршилтэд хүний эрхийн тухай хуулийг босруулж байгаа. Тэгээд үүнд байгаа холбогдуулаад одоо энэ хуулийг илүү боловсруулгын сайн болгох а энэ хуулаа батлсны дараа хэрхэн хэрэгжилтийн хангах талаар одоо гол the disability movement has had a long history beginning in the 1800s when people with disabilities were considered meager and tragic individuals unfit and unable to contribute to society except to serve as ridiculed objects of entertainment in circuses and exhibitions. By the 1930s, the United States saw the introduction of many new advancements in technology as well as in the government assistance contributing to the self-reliance and self-sufficiency of people with disabilities. Sometimes they will take me to the school and leave me there for a long time. Sometimes they will not take me to the school for a month. And my message is going to my parents that even a blind child has rights. They should put us in school so that we can learn like other children. We are fortunate enough to speak to Joe Amoroso, Director of Disability Services for the State of New Jersey. He shared with us his experiences as a disability leader, the contributions he has made, as well as what progress he believes still needs to be made in the disability rights movement. You, you, you know, most people with disabilities see themselves as the taker, the, the person who uses the program. They don't see that they can make a contribution as well. You know, they're, they're, they're the, the recipient of services. So I think a lot of modeling and a lot of, a lot of you know, kind of being a role model has really helped. I think that's my biggest ongoing contribution. I mean, a little thing. I start, again, I'm part of the disability community, so a lot of what I started started as self-advocacy. I started becoming aware of my own disability and my own issues, and as you could tell, I'm really shy. So I, I you know, I I, 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 I also discovered that I had kind of an innate lack of social justice. Um, and you know, you watch someone getting put down, or someone getting oppressed, or someone not making the most of their life because of something small, you start advocating for them too. I never dreamed, I mean, it, I have to kind of wake up in the morning and pinch myself that it, it, it actually turned into a career for me. Like they actually pay me to do what I love to do. Um, you know, that, that's, that's where I think I'm fortunate. I, I'm ex exceedingly fortunate to have that. Through the work of disability leaders, these perceptions are beginning to change. There have been countless important disability leaders throughout time, including Wade Blank, Justin Dart, Fred Fay, Judy Human, and Ed Roberts. Wade Blank was the founder of ADAPT, the American Disabled for Attendant Programs Today. Dart is best known for his work in helping to pass the ADA. Fred Fay worked as a disability policy advisor to the administration and Congress. He helped pass Section 503 and 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, the Education for All Handicapped Children Act, the ADA of 1990, and the IDEA of 1997. 
Human served as the Assistant Secretary for the Office of Special Education and Rehabilitative Services in the Department of Education under the Clinton Administration. She implemented legislation for national programs in special education, disability research, vocational rehabilitation, and independent living. We can leave some sort of disability. And on this day, it's a call for action for us as families, as communities, and governments throughout South Sudan to protect the the children with disabilities from discrimination. The theme this year is children with disabilities. I came to Radio Mariah, where some of these children have been speaking on air about the challenges they face. A sports event for the children was organized and was literally kicked off by the UNICEF country representative. So for South Sudan, it's particularly important that we make sure the children are able to use this forum to put forward the issues they face and for us to then hold the various stakeholders accountable in meeting those challenges. So it has to go on and we have to make sure that all the different facets of a child's life are addressed. After decades of campaigning and lobbying, the Americans with Disabilities Act was passed in 1990 and ensured the equal treatment and equal access of people with disabilities to employment opportunities and to public accommodations. There is still a lot of work to be done in the disability rights movement. Although the law prohibits discrimination, our society still needs to change their perception of disabilities. As you can see, Joe Amoroso has contributed a lot to the disability movement. While disability leaders have been extraordinary advocates for people with disabilities, their work alone cannot solve society's poor perception of people with disabilities. It is up to our generation and the generations that follow us to change our perceptions and help fully integrate people with disabilities into society.